Saturate me in your anointing, my Jesus. Saturate me in your presence. I need more of your we need more of now, please listen carefully. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Let's just begin, let, let's begin to rejoice because this word is true. This word is for us. Our God is for us. If there's anything that makes me happy is the fact that God is for me. Begin to worship him. Begin to declare his glory. Begin to declare his majesty. Lord, thank you. I give you all the praise. I give you all the adoration. I say there's none like unto you. There is none like you, the God who rides the heavens to help me. Lord, thank you. Thank you, O oh God, because yet again, O oh God, I will taste and see that the Lord is good. I'll be one of those ones who will give the testimony of the goodness of the Lord this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray the same over my sisters and my brothers, O oh God, that all of us will give the testimony of your goodness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and say, I'll be one of those ones who will give the testimony of the goodness of my God this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not talk about the onslaught of the enemy. I will not validate the desires of the enemy, but I will give a testimony of the goodness of my God. I will declare the faithfulness of my God. The world will see the wondrous works of God in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, O God Almighty. We worship you. We worship you, O God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. I want you to pray for yourself. As we've declared, the Bible says, Oh, fear the Lord, you is saints. There is no one to those who fear him. As we are praying this afternoon, I want you to pray and say, Lord, if there's any area of my life where I do not fear you, Father, today, oh God, have mercy on me and teach me the fear of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, I give you praise, oh God. If there's any area of my life where I do not fear you, where I do not hold you in high esteem, where I do not revere you, where I do not respect you. Father, Lord, today, oh God, teach me the fear of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I pray, oh God Almighty, I pray for my sisters and my brothers, oh God, that will not have any area of our lives where we do not fear you that there'll be no area of our lives that is not submitted to you, oh God. That will not have any area where we are not fully committed to you, oh God. Lord, help me. Help me, my Father. Help me, my Maker, oh God. Let my life be fully pleasing unto you, oh God. Father, Lord, let there be no God-free zone in my life, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let there be no area of my life where Christ is not exalted, where Christ is not in residence. Lord, help me, O oh God Almighty. Father, Lord God Almighty, take over my mouth, take over my thoughts, take over my actions, O oh God. Take over my waking up and my lying down, O oh God Almighty. Lord, if there's any area of my life where the Lord God Almighty is not the king that is reigning, today, Lord, I ask for your mercy, O oh God. And I ask, oh God Almighty, that by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I will give over the lordship of that area to Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray for yourself and declare boldly that you want the Lord Jesus Christ to be the king of your life, in every area of your life, in all your affairs, that you want him to reign. Pray for yourself and say you want to be fully submitted, fully committed, and fully pleasing unto God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Lord, help me, oh God. Help me, Jehovah. Father, search deep into my heart, oh God Almighty. Father, you are the one who can see my heart, oh God. Father, if there's any area where I'm not fully submitted to you, if there's anything that I do that grieves you, oh God. Father, today I ask, oh God Almighty, that you help me to align fully with you, oh God Almighty. Lord, I want to live my life in perfect submission and complete dedication to you, oh God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, hear my cry, hear our cry as your children, oh God. Father, Lord, I cry out, oh God. I say, Lord, you are the one who can see all things. The Bible says there's nothing that is hidden from you, oh God. Lord God Almighty, search me, oh God. Don't search me as I can search myself. Don't search me as men can search me, but search me the way only you can search and see if there's any unrighteousness, see if there's any blemish, see if there's any spot, oh God Almighty. And Lord God Almighty, give me the grace, oh God, to turn over that area to you completely, oh God, so that when you look at me, you will see your image and your likeness in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me. Jehovah, come and help me. Father, Lord God Almighty, I want to be like you. I want to walk in power and dominion, oh God. I want to love like you, oh God. I want to understand the way you do, oh God. I want to see things through your eyes, my Father. I want to speak your word like you do, oh God Almighty. I want to reflect your glory and your honor, oh God. Father, Lord, I cry out today, oh God, if there's any area of my life where I'm not exactly like you, Jehovah, I pray, oh God Almighty, that you reveal it, oh God, and that there'll be change today, oh God. Father, Lord, I don't want to wait till tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. We are still going to pray that same prayer point. And I'm going to read again from verse 8 of Psalm 34. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. The Lord has not called the world to fear him, but he has called his children to fear him. And when we fear the Lord and we hold him in high esteem, and people see what a mighty God like him can do through mere men like us, then they will fear our God. So it says, there's no one to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. The fear of the Lord brings in all that we need. This is what the Bible says, that there's no want to those who fear him. I'll share a, a couple, let me just share a testimony quickly. You know, I've had seasons in my life when I would just be thinking about something in my heart and it's not a need. And then God will just begin to supply it. God will send people to bless me until I say, God, it's okay. I have more than enough, you know. And I know that God is faithful. I can go on and on and on and on and share. But, you know, I also know, I also know that I have certain areas where I do not exhibit the full fear of the Lord, the reverence of the Lord. And we're not talking about the petrifying fear. The one that says God is angry with you all the time. No. We're talking about that fear that says, I hold him in high reverence. I hold him in high esteem. You know, the kind of fear that Joseph had that when um, Potiphar's wife went after him, he said, ah, I can't do this thing and sin against the almighty God. That's what God is talking about. So we're going to pray for ourselves. And I want you to pray for yourself and say, Lord, you know me. You know me more than I know myself. You know me very well, more than anybody else knows me. If there's any area of my life where there's no fear of God, where I do not hold you in high esteem, where I do not reverence you, oh God, where I do not have any respect for your word and your ways, where I do my own thing, where it's just about me, Father, Lord, God Almighty, reveal it to me now and give me the grace to turn it over to you, oh God. 
tell the Lord you want that sudden change. I feel that God wants to visit us suddenly. So I want you to pray for yourself and say, Lord, let my life be a true reflection of who you are. Not just in my words, not when we're talking about Jesus, but when, whatever we're doing, let Jesus be magnified. Pray for yourself. It's about you and God today. Say, God, I want to reflect your image and your likeness. The Bible says we were created in his image and likeness. And that's how we should be on the face of the earth. Cry, pray for yourself. Say, Lord, let it be, let, let, let me be like you, oh God. Let this time be a turning point for me in Jesus' name. Father, Lord God Almighty, let my, my life show forth your glory, oh God. Let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, my actions, everything, oh God. My lying down, my waking up, oh God Almighty. Let everything about me, oh God, show forth your glory. Father, Lord, let my life honor the King. Let my life honor my King in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my life bring you honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me be that person that someone will see and say, Jesus is truly alive. Let me be the person that someone will see and the person will say, I just caught a glimpse of heaven. Lord, help me, oh God. Jehovah, come and help me. I bring myself to you, oh God. Father, I'm asking you to pour out yourself into me, oh God. Saturate me, oh God, with yourself. Let me make no room for any desire of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me not be worldly, even in the smallest of things, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me always remember that heaven is the goal. Let me remember that earth is not forever. Let me remember that you have sent me, sent me here as an ambassador of heaven, oh God. Let me remember that I've got a home country. Let me remember that I'm coming back to you, oh God. Pray for yourself, pray for yourself. All these things that we run after, they do not leave this place with us. All these things that we labor for, nothing, nothing, nothing leave this place with us. One out of one person dies. And the Bible says, it is appointed unto man once to die, and after that there is judgment. Even if we make it through to heaven, have we reflected Christ on earth? We have been sent here as ambassadors of Jesus to reflect the glory of our King, to reflect the honor of our King, to reflect the, the, the kingdom of our King. I want you to pray for yourself and say, I'm here as a heavenly ambassador. I'm here as a representative of glory and power. Lord, help me. Help me, oh God. Lord, I want to be like you, oh God. Father, Lord, the Bible says, as you are, so are we on the face of the earth. So, Lord, I lift up myself to you, oh God. I say, Lord, pour out a fresh anointing. Let every yoke of the flesh be broken. Let every desire of flesh be broken. Lord, cast down right now everything that you have not planted in my life, oh God, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I desist from every assignment that you have not given me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I uproot every tree that you have not planted in my life. Lord God Almighty, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I quench every desire that you have not given me in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy every preference that is not of you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, delete, I destroy every appetite that is not of you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I quench every fire that is not of you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, let's begin to quench strange fires. The strange fires that are burning in our lands. Let's come against strange fire in the body of Christ. Come against strange fire. 
fire in the lives of your children. Come against strange fire in your heart. In Garebo Shegete Bokozokoto. Let us come against strange fire. Reba Sokori Kataba. Every strange fire that is burning in me, oh God. Father, today I quench in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every strange fire that is burning around me. Lord, I quench in the name of Jesus Christ. I snuff them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for yourself. Come against strange fire. Come against strange fire. Reka shegete boko zoko rikata. Engele bo shaya ba 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 ba. I want us to be bold and pull down every strange altar that may be in our lives in Jesus' name. Ask yourself, am I truly like Jesus Christ? When people see me, do they see Jesus? When people hear me, do they hear Jesus? When people surround me, do they fellowship with Jesus Christ? Lord, I bring myself to you, O God. Lord, I say today is the day of my salvation, O God, from everything that is not of you, O God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, every desire of hell that will not let me live the crucified life, Lord, I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let's pray for ourselves and say, God, we just want to be like Jesus Christ. We just want to be like Jesus Christ. Reka sokoto ba 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 ba. Masoko rikata baka jegete. Lord, I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus, oh God. I want to carry your spirit in a tangible way, oh God. I want to reflect your glory. I want to reflect your preferences and your desires, oh God. Father, Lord God Almighty, let everything about me speak of your glory. Let everything about me speak, oh God, of the reality of your kingdom. Let somebody see me and see the reason, King, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, align my desire today oh god i bring myself to you i say lord take away the power of choice i want you to choose for me oh god choose for me in everything oh god choose for me in everything oh god let me be a true slave of righteousness in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we have prayed amen so praying i want us to look at acts 10 38 acts 10 38 it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. We're going to pray for ourselves. We're going to say, God, this is our portion. And I want us to make bold declarations that we will not go about confirming the works of the enemy, no. We will go about doing good and destroying the works of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your life will not be a confirmation of the works of the enemy. And when we also did the works of the enemy in the lives of other people, there will be power to destroy those works in Jesus' name. There will be power to set the captives free in the name of Jesus Christ. And also as we are taking this, you are going to pray and say, you will not be afraid of the works of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will not run around and run away from demons. They will see us and run away. And most of us know that in the Bible, they will see Jesus and then they will begin to cry out and say, Jesus of Nazareth, where have you come to torment us before our time? But now we are busy running after demons. We are running away from them. We are, we are, we are all sorts of things that we do now as Christians. We are afraid of them. They keep tormenting us. It's because we don't know who we are. So 
So I want us to rise up and take our place and say, Lord, the same way you anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with your Holy Spirit and with power, Lord, anoint me today anoint me today. I want you to cry out for the anointing of the Lord, for the anointing that comes from the Lord, the anointing that destroys every yoke of the enemy. Let us pray for ourselves. Father, I will not go around confirming the works of the enemy. I will not validate the works of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. I will also not live in fear of, of evil spirits and all the nonsense that the enemy throws out in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, today, oh God, I pray for boldness upon all of us, oh God, that kind of boldness that comes from the heart of God. The Bible says the righteous as bold as a lion, but the wicked runs when no one pursues him. Father, that's not a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Enough of running from pillar to post in the name of Jesus Christ. Sickness will not send us running. Fear will not send us running. In the name of Jesus Christ, poverty will not send us running. No man born of woman, no woman born of woman will send us running. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against the root of fear. In the name of Jesus Christ, we'll come against all the lies of Satan that we have embraced carelessly. In the name of Jesus Christ, we'll come against everything that has denatured us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says and we declare it that our King of Kings is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And we know that lions only beget lions. Every cat like tendency will come against in the name of Jesus Christ. We say, let the lion, let the lion on the inside of us arise in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, the Bible says and we declare it that his sin will not have dominion over us. So, Lord, we come against the stronghold of sin. Everything, everything that depletes our strength, everything that dissipates the glory of God on our lives. Father, Lord, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll rise up right now. We'll rise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll rise up with wings like the eagle in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. We are the custodians of power. We carry his glory. And because we are the custodians of God's power, we will not carry powerlessness anymore. We will not carry shame anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will not carry dishonor anymore. Declare with your own mouth that you are a vessel of honor, not a vessel unto dishonor, not a vessel of defeat. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want us to come against defeat. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to your life and say the enemy will not defeat you anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says this people has formed to show forth his praise. We will not show for the defeat of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. No more failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will operate as the children of God. Our holiness will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our faith will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our declaration of the word of the Lord will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God will not be cast to the ground in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, the enemy will not have an upper hand in any area of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray for yourself. We lift up every area of defeat to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even if it's just gossip, that's not our God. That's not what God created us for. So we will declare his glory. Our speech will give grace to the hearers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want us to look at Psalm 89, verse 22. And it says, His enemies will not defeat him, 
nor will the wicked overpower him. I've just read NLT. I want you to pray and say every enemy of your soul, none will defeat you. No evil habit will defeat you. No evil mindset will defeat you. No evil perspective will defeat our children. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are saying we're walking in, in victory in every area of our lives. I'm going to ask you to unmute. We're going to intercede together. We're going to say we are victorious in Jesus Christ. We are victorious in Jesus Christ. We are victorious in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in jesus mighty name we have prayed let's go to james one james one and today i want us to pray that the spirit of joy will abide with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the spirit of victory in Jesus' name. So James 1 from verse 2 says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. We will not doubt. We will not doubt and we will not sin. And it says, you'll be complete, lacking nothing. I see a picture of the children of God lacking nothing, lacking nothing. Everything that we need for every situation, God has already provided. And we're going to appropriate those things and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. We will walk in the finished work of Calvary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Before we pray, I want us to look at Hebrews 4, 15. It says, for we do not have a high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. We are going to begin to give the testimonies of being tempted and yet without sin. That's what will happen to us and our children. That's what we'll begin to see in the body of Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll not be recording scandals again in the body of Christ. We'll be recording stories of victories where somebody say, I was tempted, yet I did not sin. And that becomes the story of our lives in Jesus' name. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, grace to overcome every temptation, grace to count it all joy when I fall into various trials, knowing that I will come out like Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus, that the final outcome will be that I would have not sinned against you. Lord God Almighty, we lift up your word, O oh God. Lord, I pray for the joy, O oh God, that comes from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, that we'll count it all joy when we fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of our faith produces patience, 
And Lord, by your grace, oh God, we will be patient enough to see the end, oh God, to see, oh God, your glory at the end of every temptation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I pray, oh God, that will be perfect and complete, lacking nothing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in every area where I lack wisdom, I ask for wisdom right now in the name of Jesus Christ. For everyone who lacks wisdom, Jehovah, we ask, oh God, for wisdom. We ask for the secrets of wisdom that will double our prudence. Father, Lord God Almighty, we will lack nothing by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, for whatever we ask, oh God, we will ask in faith. No doubting in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Father, Lord God Almighty, your word is very clear that this person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, oh God, that will not be doubters, but believers in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be unstable, but Lord will be movable, trusting in the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we declare boldly that nothing breaks the rhythm of our praise and nothing tampers with our joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we are seeing it again in your word today that we have not an high praise which cannot be touched by the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Lord God Almighty, the story of my life will be yet without sin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the testimony of my life will be yet without sin. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to agree that the testimony of our lives will be yet without sin. The wages of sin is so death. Let's not be fooled. Let's not be confused. And the Bible says, we do not have a high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Yet without sin. We live in a world where they say you must bribe to get things that you should get legitimately. And many of us now think it's okay. It's not okay. There must be one person who will stand. There must be one person who will say, I know God can do it. There must be one person who will say that the Bible says fire consumes the tabernacle of bribery. And because of that, I will not do it. What is going to happen is that there will be exceptional favor on our lives. Even if God is going to place his angels on duty where you go to collect that thing, he will do it. He will do it. So we're not going to succumb to the ways of the world. We're not going to live by the dictates of the world and the dictates of our flesh. So I want us to unmute and agree that our lives will be yet without sin. Our Amen. testimony will be yet without Amen. sin. In this I <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
we have prayed the bible encourages us to fight for the faith that was once delivered to the saints okay the bible says fight for the faith that was delivered for the for for the to the saints the, the kind of faith that came from God, not the one that we're talking about now. So I'm going to take it to Jude. Jude has only one chapter, so verse 3. It says, Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all, for all delivered to the saints. Okay. Um, the children's Bible says, I want to encourage you to fight hard for the faith that God gives his holy people. It says God gave this faith once and it is good for all time. The way of God, the counsel of God, the faith that we have received is good for all time. It is still valid and it's still working till today. We don't have to cut corners. We don't have to compromise. We don't have to conform to the ways of the world. I want you to pray and say, Lord, everything that I need to contend for this faith, Father, Lord, you have given me. Now let me take up the shield of faith and begin to contend for this faith that you have handed down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I pray for myself, oh God. Your word says that I should earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints, this faith that is good for all time. Lord God Almighty, and all that I need to contend for the faith you have already given me. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that I would take up, oh God, all that you have given me to contend for the faith, all that you have given me to show forth the, the faith that works. Lord, I pray, oh God Almighty, that I will show forth, oh God, that when we have faith in God, we can ask mountains to move. The faith you have given us is God's kind of faith. Lord God Almighty, all that we need, oh God, to contend for this faith. Father, Lord God Almighty, let us pick it up now. Let us take up the shield of faith. Let us take up the word of faith. Let us take up the, take up the spirit of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we want to contend for that faith. We want to show the faith that works, oh God. We want to show the world that God is true and God is real. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, not as the world says, not as my flesh wants, not as the enemies say, but as you are saying, oh God, as you have handed down Jehovah, that is my desire, oh God, Lord God Almighty, the faith that speaks of the glory of your majesty, the faith that displays your power, the faith that never turns back from anything, ha, Lord, that's what I'm asking for. Cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, give me the grace to contend for that faith and to use it in my life. Tell the Lord you want to do the works of faith and you want to see the works of faith. Tell the Lord you want to manifest the works of faith. 
faith may not make sense. In fact, most times, faith doesn't make sense. It just makes miracles. Let's stop trying to make sense and let our faith begin to produce miracles. I want you to pray for yourself that you want you don't want to get into long debates and you don't want to try to make sense, but you want your faith to produce results. Faith that works. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. We want to see the fruits of faith in our lives. We want to do the works of faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We don't want to join the bandwagon that says faith doesn't work. Faith works. Faith works. Many times what we say is that ah, this faith won't work. So let me sort myself out. No, God will sort us out. And God is more than able to bring every promise to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And let's cease, let's quit trying to make sense. Let our faith just make miracles. Let our faith produce results in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to take you to Hebrews 11. It says, now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see, and the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Faith operates above senses, okay? The fact may be there, but when faith comes in, faith brings in the truth, and truth will always trump fact. Truth will always overcome fact. Fact will always change. It may be the fact that you're sick now. You know, the fact may be that you've been afraid since coronavirus started. But today you are hearing the word of the Lord. You are hearing the truth of the word of the Lord. And you're rising up above fear and doubt. And you're saying, no, God's got me. And that's the final say. There may be areas of our lives where it seems as if Satan is saying, I will not let you go. But you are hearing the word of the Lord today to say, you have been delivered from every work of darkness. And the Bible is saying, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. So even if it doesn't make sense, it will make miracles as we hold on to the word of the Lord. So I want you to pray for yourself and say, my faith will not fail. I will do the works of faith. I will contend. My life will be a reflection of the faith that works. I will contend earnestly for the faith that was handed down. You know, Peter and John, they saw the man that was lame at the gate called Beautiful. And faith arose in them. He was looking for silver or gold and that they didn't have to offer. But they had faith in the name of Jesus Christ. So they said, yes, you're looking unto us, but silver and gold we do not have. But in the name of Jesus Christ, arise and walk. That's what we are going to do. Many times we've, we've walked away from things that we should command, things that we should turn around by the faith that's in us, by the power of God in, that is in us. So I want you to pray and say, Lord God Almighty. You know, we, we talk about ourselves. We say we're world changers. We're world changers. And by the power and the name of Jesus Christ, we will truly become world changers in Jesus' name. That will become our reality in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It won't just be a height sentence that we say when, 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 we, are, when we are high on, on whatever, on whatever we, you know, happens around us now. Because when we are high in the Holy Ghost, when, when the Holy Ghost fills our heart, we'll be able to do the works of the Lord. So I want us to pray. Pray for yourself and say, Lord God Almighty, I want to be a true game changer. I want to be a true world changer. I want to be a true pace setter by doing the works of faith, by understanding that my, my faith will not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray for myself, O God. I say, Lord, by the power and the name of Jesus Christ, I will do the works of faith. I will walk in your path. I will walk in your glory. Lord God Almighty, I will walk in the steps of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we've declared today, O God, 
that in spite of any and every temptation, will come out victorious. And our testimony will be yet without sin. But Lord, it will not stop there, oh God. We will also go on and do the mighty works of faith. Father, you will back up your word. Your word in, my, in our mouth, oh God, will be backed up with signs and wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, as we have removed everything that is not of your God, we say saturate us, oh God, saturate us with fresh anointing in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that destroys every yoke, Lord God Almighty, as we go out, we go out, oh God, in the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have prayed. If you look at Hebrews 11, I can't read everything, but I'll just pick out some verses and then we're going to pray. Hebrews 11, 23 says, By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by the parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's command. Faith takes away fear. Faith takes away fear. Verse 24 says, By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater than riches, that rich, um, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. When Moses was here, Christ hadn't come in the flesh. So for those of us who are here now after the resurrection, we need to esteem the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. And you know, I really feel that there's even no reproach now because God is clothing us with victory, okay? And God is, is, is waiting for a glorious church. So I want us to pray for ourselves that we'll be able to choose to follow Christ. We'll be able to choose the narrow way. And what if it even leads to reproach? We'll do it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says we should not suffer as evil doers, but we can suffer for the cause of Christ. We can suffer for righteousness sake. So I want you to pray for yourself and say, you will not be afraid in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be afraid of any strange decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the three Hebrew children. Nebuchadnezzar said they must bow. They said, no, we can't bow. This God that we serve continually will deliver us. And let it be known to you, O King, even if he doesn't, we will not bow. This is the time to stand up against idols. It is the time to do away with idolatry. It is the time to say, I belong to Jesus and that's it. I belong to Jesus, period. Not Jesus and other things. I belong to Jesus and that is my testimony. I belong to Jesus and that is the final word. I belong to Jesus and that is my reality. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray for yourself and say by faith, you'll be able to stand for Jesus Christ. By faith, we will take our stand for the Lord. By faith, I will stand and I will not be afraid in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will be able to declare the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. 
of whom shall I be afraid? Reka shegele buko zoko rikata. Engalo shakata baka zege de de de. Lord, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I will use this one life that you have given me to the glory of your name. I will use it, oh God, for the things of your kingdom. I will use it, oh God Almighty, to bring about glory and honor to your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will use it, oh God Almighty, for you and for you alone, oh God. I want you to pray and say your life will be used only for the glory of your king in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is the time to say for your glory. Glory, Lord, I will do anything. Rashe gata baka jigete for your honor, Lord. I will do anything. Resha gata baka zakata. I will not take honor from men in the name of Jesus Christ. Resha gata baka zokori kata. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Still in Hebrews 11, I want us to go to verse 32. It says, "And what more shall I say?" For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, walked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the, the, the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weaknesses were made strong, became valiant in battle, Turn to, fl to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead raised to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they may obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trials of mockings and scourgings, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, were tempted, were slain with a sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, and it goes on. It goes on. Let me tell you the things that we can do by faith. It says, listen, they quenched. Let, let me back up. Verse 33, it says, who through faith subdued kingdoms. They did not submit to the kingdoms of this world. They subdued kingdoms. They worked righteousness. They did not, because of fear, live in iniquity and depravity. No, they obtained promises. They did not allow the promises of God to be thrown to the ground in their lives. They stopped the mouth of liars. They were not afraid of the king's verdict. Eh? It says, quench the violence of fire. They escaped the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made strong. They became valiant in battle. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. They turn to flight strange things, the armies of strange doctrines and strange ways of life. It says women receive their dead raised to life again. I want you to pray and say, Lord, let my dead be raised to life again in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me valiant in battle. Let me be one of those ones who will speak to the enemy at the gate and turn to flight the, the armies of the aliens, strange things that have overcome our generation, evil has become very brazen and audacious. God is looking for his children who will speak out against evil, cry out and say, Lord, make me strong in my inner man. Cause me, oh God, to rise up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to unmute ourselves and agree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we have the faith that works in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. 
in Jesus name we are prayed I want us to Amen. agree I want us to agree that there's an army rising up in Jesus name that there's an army of faith rising up in Jesus name that an army is rising up in this generation in Jesus name open your mouth and say we agree that there's an army rising up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's agree that the dead bones of faith will live again. The dry bones of faith will live again in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we agree, mm. oh God, that there's an army rising up, that Lord God Almighty, by the power and the name of Jesus Christ, the dead bones of real faith will rise again in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith that has its root in God and God alone. Faith that is looking on to Jesus alone. Faith that does not call good evil. That does not call evil good. That does not mix things from the kingdom of darkness. Faith that does not look for help and power from diviners and sorcerers. In the name of Jesus Christ. We come against pollution in the body of Christ. Lord God Almighty. We say the time has come for you to make diviners mad and frustrate the top of liars in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith that does not call bad good. Faith that does not exalt character flaws above the above the dictates of the Holy Ghost. Unmute yourself. We are going to agree. We are going to agree. Amen. We are going to agree that it's time for experts of faith in Jesus' name. We are going to do strange things. You know, when Jesus did some of the work, they said, said we've seen strange things today. Hello. Please mute yourself. We're going to agree that it's time for experts of faith. When Jesus did some of the miracles, they said, Oh, we have seen strange things. We're going to agree that we will do strange things by the power and the name of Jesus Christ. And as we agree, we're also going to ask for character change now. Now that today God Himself will change us. You know, the Bible says in Hebrews 11, 31, it says it was by faith that Rahab, the prostitute, welcomed the spies and was not killed with those who refused to obey God because his, her life changed that day. Remember, she ended up being in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Her life was changed by an encounter. The prostitute changed forever. She moved from being a prostitute and she married one of the Jewish guys and was in the genealogy of, she's still there to, to today, in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. So I, that faith would also change us. We'll change our character. We'll destroy evil habits in Jesus' name. We'll break the yoke of Satan. I want us to agree that the experts of faith will start with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And when we do that, that let's go quickly to Acts 9, 31. It says, then the churches throughout all Judea Galilee and Samaria had peace and were edified and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, they were multiplied. We will walk in the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the body of Christ will multiply. Souls will be multiplied unto God because of your character. Let's unmute ourselves now and say we agree that it's time for the experts of faith 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Rekashegete Bakazekete, Father, we are here, O God, that we will know our God, and we shall do exploit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We agree again and again that we will walk in the knowledge of the Lord and we shall do exploits in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please just indulge me for a minute. Um, unmute yourself and we're just going to declare that with joy, we will draw water out of the wells of salvation in the name of the we have prayed amen and amen heavenly father we just want to thank you for this time thank you god almighty for always leading us by your spirit Thank you, O God, because we know that this time cannot be in vain because you have not called the children of Jacob to serve you in vain. Thank you, O God Almighty, because this time will lead to fruitfulness, power, dominion, and joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I cover everyone who's prayed today and those who could not make it in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And we agree one more time that no evil will come near us and no plague is coming near our dwelling places in the mighty name of Jesus. We agree boldly that it's not time for funerals, but it's time for enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Me in your presence. I need more of your We need more of you. I've got to have more.